Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back today with my review of the Marvel Retro Toy Biz series X-Men Silver Samurai figure. Now, get a good look at him here in the packaging. <clears throat> I just walked into my local toy store and found these today. Again, I'm finding these literally on the 4th of July in 2019, so these weren't supposed to be out until late August, so I was really surprised to find these. Um, this guy looks fantastic in packaging here. As you can see, it says Katana and Wakazashi, if I'm saying that right, which is really surprising that they don't just put, you know, comes with double samurai swords or something like that. On the back here, you can see they kept the retro packaging. And you see the other characters in the wave. And his read-up says, The Silver Samurai has but one goal in life, to become the leader of the Japanese underworld. Trained in martial arts and wielding massive katana, this honorless samurai may have already achieved his desire, if not for the interference of the X-Men. Now, as a kid, I loved this figure. Mainly because he was all back metal, which if you don't know is where they print the figure, this really bright, shiny, chrome plastic and it wears off super, super quick. And I've heard that they can't do that anymore because of environmental issues. I've also heard that's kind of a lie the toy industry tells you because they don't want you to, they just don't want to do it anymore. But either way, he still looks great. Let's open him up. And here we have the Silver Samurai out of the packaging. I went ahead and put both of his swords in his little, I don't know if that's not really a scabbard, his little clips on his side there. And I actually managed to get him in a, it's not an amazing pose, but a little pose where he's reaching over, grabbing one of his katanas. Or rather, his katana instead of his wakazashi. Again, I know nothing of Japanese swordsmanship, so if you're here for that, I'm probably going to piss you off. <laughs> but let's pull his hand off his sword here. Um, as a kid, I think I've already mentioned this, but I really, really wanted the Silver Samurai figure because it was Vat Chrome. It just looks so impressive. And even though this isn't the Vat Metal Chrome that I was hoping for, they did a really great job detailing him here. You see all the different studs and rivets in his armor. There's actually some varying shades of metallic silver. So, while it wasn't exactly what I wanted, I'm not going to fault him. They still did a really, really great job. You see the two little white tassels held on by the brown rope that actually hold on his armor. So, they did do a phenomenal job. Now, one part where I was a little let down in the detail, his swords are just the generic... Marvel Legends swords. Um, you know, there's some detailing on the handle, but the blade is a very dull, flat silver. I might even spice those up myself with a little bit of paint to make them pop more. But, you know, nothing too heartbreaking. You know, if there's one thing I have an abundance of as an action figure collector, it's additional swords and even some paint to fix those up. And there goes that base. So, Let's get him posed here real quick. As you can see, despite the fact that his swords are kind of lackluster, just the fact that they did such a good job on his overall detail, it still really makes the figure himself pop. I just, I'm really surprised they didn't at least do like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive version where they made a few of these chrome. I know I am harping on that like crazy, but that's something I really wanted to see. So, pulling both his swords out. Now, as far as his articulation, you do give up a bit to look so cool. Um, the original figure, I still remember, these and the helmet were attached, his little shoulder pads, so you pulled them all off so you could have an exposed head sculpt here. The helmet is permanently sculpted on. Um, as far as his arm articulation, it's a bit hindered by the shoulder pads, but he still goes forward, back, and out. He just he can kind of get that 360 in there, but you got to struggle for it. Double jointed at the elbow, bends... And I believe there's a hinge on his wrist. Oh, came right out. So, that's unfortunate. There is no hinge there. I can confirm that 100% now. Still, not a bad range of articulation. What really surprised me is uh, his abdomen. This bends a lot more than I thought it would. I mean, you can get a full 360 out of that. With the way this armor is so bulky, I figured that would never happen. He turns at the waist... Of course, as far as his leg articulation, again, it's a tiny bit hindered by his pads. I don't know the technical name of any of this armor, so I apologize in advance. Goes out to about there. He spins at the quadricep. Double jointed knee. Has an ankle joint. And, yep, the ankle definitely has a pivot. So, let's get him back on his base here. 
uh, again, I found these a bit early. I don't know if my toy shop got them earlier. They're just kind of beaten expectations of when they thought they'd have these guys out. Uh, they're going to run you about 20 bucks a pop when you find them in stores. I pay 25 because my toy shop marks them up a bit. But this is one of those guys, I saw them online and I'm like, you know, I might get him, I might not. There's a lot of nostalgia there for me. But I gotta say, seeing him in the package, I was like, man, that paint looks a lot better than I thought it would. Then you get him out, and I mean, this is just, this is a must-buy for an X-Men fan in my book. You know, he, if you have the nostalgia, if you don't, he looks fantastic. He's a very different, unique X-Men villain that they haven't done a redo of. I don't believe they've ever done this version of him. I don't think Toy Biz did eat, well, Toy Biz did way back in the day, but not in their Legend series. So that being said, I highly recommend picking this guy up. And that being said, this is JTrain997, and I'll see you soon, YouTube. Hey, guys, very small part two to the video. His wrists are hinged. I don't know what was going on with mine, but for some particular reason, when it popped out, it just wasn't really wanting to free up. I noticed it on this wrist at first, and then I started to work this one, and it definitely has a hinge, as you can see there. And also, he turns right here at the boot. That was a little tight on mine, but once it popped, it freed up really nicely. So... And with that hinged wrist, uh, you get a lot nicer sword poses in here. So, and uh, one other quick pose I wanted to mention, you gotta watch it, this hand a lot does like to pop up despite that. As far as him holding the sword with both hands, it's very hard to do, but if you kind of force it over, you can get a few poses in like that, so. That's a really neat thing. Again, I really thought the bulk of this armor was gonna prohibit a lot of that. But there's so many neat, unique poses you can do with this guy now that I know he can has the hinged wrist and he can do that. So this guy went up even farther in my book and he was already a buy. That being said, this is JTrain997 and again, I'll see you soon, YouTube. What do you have, Jim?